Here is a quick guide on how to create an exploded view in a drawing. First, let's take a look at how this assembly is structured. I have named the entire assembly as Box Assembly. This appears at the top of the assembly tree in the browser, which I'll call this level 0. The box assembly consists of four captive screws, a top cover sub-assembly, and a bottom cover sub-assembly. These components form the first level of the assembly tree. If we expand the bottom cover sub-assembly, we can see that it consists of a bottom cover and a PCB. If we expand the top cover assembly, it consists of the top cover and a display window. These components form the second level of the assembly. An assembly tree presented in a horizontal manner should make this clear. It is important to keep this assembly structure in mind while we go through the rest of the tutorial. To start creating the exploded view, go to the animation workspace. Go to transform. There are three main ways of exploding components. Auto explode one level, auto explode all levels, and manual explode. If we click on auto explode one level right now, an error message pops up saying that there are no components to explode. This is because we need to select the box assembly first before hitting the command to explode. So select box assembly in the browser and go to transform. Auto explode one level. As the name suggests, this will explode the first level of our assembly, which includes the four screws, the top cover sub-assembly, and the bottom cover sub-assembly. In this case, the sub-assemblies themselves do not get exploded. The display window and the PCB stay embedded in their respective sub-assemblies. Click on the trail line visibility icon to toggle on or off the display of exploded lines. Drag the slider to adjust the spacing of the components. You can see that in this case, one of the screws is out of place. When it comes to auto-exploding, the program can only make a rough guess as to the designer's intention. We have the opportunity to make adjustments after the fact. Let's accept this for the moment. Every time an explode step is created, this appears as a bar in the animation timeline at the bottom. Look for the specific bar that belongs to the screw that needs to be adjusted. Right-click and select Edit Action. Adjust the screw accordingly. Let's go on to the second option for exploding. To do that, let's create a new storyboard to start afresh. Pre-select the box assembly. Go to Transform, Auto Explode All Levels. As the name suggests, this will explode all components at all levels, including components embedded within sub-assemblies. In this case, the display window and the PCB have both been exploded out. Let's create a new storyboard and choose the third option for exploding. Manual Explode. In this case, start the command first and click on the particular component that you need to explode. Once the component is selected, click on the direction that you need the component to be exploded to. If there is more than one component that needs to be exploded, do not click OK. Instead, click on the next component and select the direction. Cycle through all components until the directions have been chosen. Once done, drag the slider to control the spacing. To create a drawing using this exploded view, go to Drawing and select From Animation. 
If you have created more than one storyboard, make sure that the correct one is selected and click OK. This will bring you to the drawing workspace where you can place the exploder view accordingly.